Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and today we've got another installment of the monthly reviews roundup, where we go over my kind of reviews and scores that I gave projects, mixtapes, albums, EPs uh, from the last month, that being May 2023. So let's hop into it. We're starting with Flume's Arrived Anxious Left Bored. Um, Flume's second mixtape of the year is yet another random assortment of tracks that were never going to make a full-length LP. While sonically more connected than the last, Arrived Anxious Left Bored is primarily the end of its namesake. Boring. And it scores a Bowtied 6 out of 10. Then we've got Amnes' Nur EP. Um, with so few releases under their belt, uh, Amnes is a breath of fresh trap air. Incredible mixing, unique sound design, and engaging melodies give me the sense that this is a future, or this is the future potentially for hybrid trap, personally. Big, big fan, uh, and this is going to score a Bowtide 8 out of 10. Then we've got Fred again and Brian Eno's Secret Life. As stylistic as one can get with Ambient, uh, it's still a bit of a nothing burger of a record. There are some interesting movements and melodies, but ultimately is a very sleepy project. And they'll score a Bowtide 5 out of 10. Grandson's I Love You, I'm Trying is up next, and while on the surface, Grandson's vocal delivery and backing production have their own kind of unique niche in the music landscape, be it with kind of Oliver Tree a little bit. I think it sounds so similar. The uh, internal variation from track to track is severely lacking. Uh, much of the track list tries to be deeply emotional, yet falls into basic cliches and motifs. It's got its charms, and it's got its duds. This is Scory Bowtide 6. Then we've got Mazer's Dreams Only Last for a Night EP. This is without a doubt Mazer's least intriguing project to date. Uh, aiming to hit that kind of high school nostalgia, this EP is far from bad. It just doesn't offer anything to truly remember for me personally. So it's going to be a Bowtide 6. Then we've got Riot 10's Sheesh EP. Uh, truly embracing meme culture uh, has not done well for Riot 10, I would say. Uh, the tracks are silly and not in a playful way, and the production is just the same old bland heavy dubstep that's gotten that's gotten old for half a decade now. So um, yeah, I'm going to say this is a Bowtide 3. Then we've got Snake Hips Never Worry, uh, some of the best slap house on the market, I would say, uh, but with a lacking uh, with lacking production variety and tonal movements, the record is a bit of a drag with no clear direction. Uh, it's fun, mindless radio music, and that's about it. And this will score a bow tied six. Then we've got Arizona's self-titled album. Uh, Arizona's third and, well, self-titled album is very much of the same. Uh, gruff vocals and that kind of tropical summertime beats are the name of the game. Uh, but while this formula has worked well in the past, it's definitely beginning to lose its luster a little bit. Uh, I enjoy their kind of um, practical sound, but I just don't love all that the songs, that all that they just sound so similar. I, I just I just don't like that as, as much anymore. So I'll uh, score a Bowtide 6. We've got Cloud Nun's Almost Weightless. Uh, this is, yeah, I mean, five years and nine EPs later, we finally have the debut album. Uh, this record does a brilliant job of being the kind of quintessential Cloud Nun project, giving a little bit of all of his production styles in one, while never straying away from his kind of chill out niche. Uh, Almost Weightless is precisely what I wanted from a debut LP. Well, I found the track slightly underwhelming in a vacuum. As a collective track list, the sum is greater than its parts. That'll score about tied 7 out of 10. Then we've got Jonas Brothers, the album. Uh, I've very honestly been a Jonas Brothers fan for a long time, uh, practically because I was very young when they first burst onto the scene, so I've kind of grown up with them a little bit. Uh, but this is by far their worst record to date. Uh, the track list feels wayward without cohesion and lacking any real X factors. Um, well, Happiness Begins wasn't their best. It had its own kind of flair and style that was unique for the album cycle. But this, the album, uh, feels like it's just a product of pop trends that hopes the fans won't uh, really think too much about the record. So uh, this will score Bowtide 4. Then I've got Chimerian and Smokeland's High Rollers. Um, yeah, we've got a pretty neat three-track EP team up here, uh, but placing itself more in a kind of underground drum and bass niche, uh, the production remains fairly light on its feet, uh, not venturing too deep into the kind of down, destructive rabbit hole of drum and bass that it can be, specifically with Chimerian. But uh, I did enjoy it, so this is going to score a Bowtide 7. Then we've got Subfocus Evolve. Uh, welcome to drum and bass. This is basic drum and bass, I would say. Uh, there's little to no structural variety or passion really thrown onto the album. Um, this really feels like your most kind of run of the mill basic drum and bass project. Um, but yeah, I, I will say though, the last four tracks are the best parts of the album by far. I'm just sad it took so long for it to really kick in the gear. And it'll score a bow tied six. 
Now we've got Wales, the fucking EP. Uh, structurally a very bold choice to have a six track EP with a runtime of just over nine minutes. Uh, but sonically though, I think it's a little all over the place. Um, yeah, there's some fun ideas and neat melodies, but nothing really goes anywhere and you can't really with such short runtimes. Um, I think I'm just grieving what could have been if Wales had really taken time to flesh out this project in full. And so I'm gonna score a Bowtied four on this one. I've got Kate Tranime's self-titled. Um, backed by some smooth beats and good bars, Kate Tranime is an admirable take on hip house. Um, well, not the most polished record of the year. It is a good venture into new territory while yet remaining fairly close to home. Uh, Kate Trinata and Amine's chemistry is solid, but I think the two played it just a little bit too safe for my liking. This is Corey Bowtide 6. We've got Hello World's Things I Want to Text You. Uh, Hello World's second run at an EP is a more honed in and sonically precise project. Working through his signature 8-bit synths and punchy bass lines, this feels like Hello World at his best yet. Thematically, everything is tied together from the phone imagery to the dial-up sounds. The tracks feel like a part of something bigger. And I really liked it. And this is going to score a Bowtide 8 out of 10. We've got Kai Wachi's Rise of the Demigod. Uh, well, I felt that this EP started with a couple of underwhelming tracks. Its back half of this project is what really carries my final thoughts and feelings. Uh, keeping his signature heavy dubstep production, Kai Wachi attacks the track list with uh, an intentionality and force that is, uh, I think, seldom found in the bass world that I personally resonate with. Uh, this is the heavy stuff that I can really get behind. And this is Gory Bowtide 7. I've got Quickly Quickly's Easy Listening EP. Uh, first off, I never really resonated with this kind of specific style of lo-fi kind of chill lounge, but um, I can appreciate the instrumentation and freshness of the ideas being produced. I just struggle to find any real personal connection with it. So this is just going to score Bowtide 6. Then we've got Starseed's Pathfinder. Uh, despite the relatively small three-track EP, each individual track here manages to impress in its own special way. Uh, this is without a doubt Starseed's best project yet. Uh, flashy sound design and bold melodies create a unique listening experience on a label that I've found to be very derivative as of late. This is Cora Bowtide 8. And last up, we've got Drinks On Me, the Rebellion EP. Uh, Drinks On Me is back again with another uh, garage EP and with a bit of a lounge atmosphere to this one. Uh, the tracks work really well in tandem, but don't have the star power that other projects have had in the past. Uh, it's merely more of the same with Drinks On Me, albeit a good same. And this will score a bow tied seven. So let me know what you think of these projects in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you think and of any and all of these albums, EPs, compilations, mixtapes, whatever. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, but other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.